we enter to the Quad University, that is the Quad University of Science and Technology. Science and Technology is one of the prestigious higher education institute in southern part of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. Kuwait is one of the famous city with respect to the tribal history and the history that links with a number of the mines, the salt mines, the gypsum and other mines. Kuwait University is located in Kuwait city. Kuwait is one of the historical city in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The name of Kuwait is linked with the ancient Buddhist Raja King Kuwait in 16th century. The main tribes of Kuwait includes Afridi, Bangash, and Binori. Other tribes include Khatak and Shinwari. Kuwait is one of the important area of Pakistan with a richest history that includes the important places Kuhart Fort, Tanda Wildlife Park, Kuhart Tunnel, Tanda Dam and Khushal Gard. Now we are going to the Department of Botany, one of the leading department in Kuhart University. Here you see it is the Department of Botany, Kuhart University of Science and Technology, Laboratory of Genomics, General Lab, uh, that is uh, different equipments, they are installed in this laboratory. We have also a student from Botany and please let me know your names and what are you doing in your research are either B.S., M.Phil or Ph.D. Uh, my name is Gulfam and I am a Ph.D. scholar here in the Department of Botany Cust. Uh, I am working on a plant derived smoke solution uh, with, which can also be known as biofertilizer uh, and uh, their effects. Uh, also, I am working on uh, some phytohormones like uh, auxine, and uh, melatonin, etc., and their effects on the physiology and morphology, also at genetic and molecular level of uh, some uh, useful plants, so useful crops like uh, wheat, uh, chickpea, uh, etc. Uh, we have also another student <laughs> in botany. So please uh, let me know what are you doing in botany department in uh, University of Kuwait. My name is Nasim Allah. I am a student of uh, Imperial Scholar. Uh, I am working on uh, molecular genetics. The effect of uh, uh, salinity is very adversely they uh, decrease the crop production. So we will mitigate that. How to mitigate the uh, production of brassica or other plants? So we use uh, salicylic acid that uh, enhance the uh, production of plants and mitigate the salinity effects. Thank you. We are honored that we have a Dr. Adnan Saab. He is the chairman of the Department of Botany. We are having, uh, uh, basically we are running three programs, uh, DS, MPhil level and PhD level. Uh, we, we are having some uh, a number of students who are here uh, working in uh, diverse research areas, for example, uh, plant physiology, particularly plant stress physiology, plant ecology, uh, as well as ethnobotany and also uh, the molecular genetics that we are having uh, in this department we are having three to four growth rooms uh, in this department uh, in which most of the research work is related to the stress physiology uh, as well as some of the ecological parts of uh, the plants and uh, yes it's belong to all the faculty and every faculty is doing research on stress research. physiology exactly. by mm -hmm. different experiments on the plants, either chickpea, wheat, rice, exactly. maize, and so and on. The, uh, because this uh, in this region, the chickpea is, uh, I mean, it's is very famous. famous and it's uh, cultivated on a vast majority of land. So we are more focusing on the chickpea based research. I mean, to, to how to increase the production. Uh, as well as 
crop resistance. Right? And also you are working about the biological nitrogen fixation exactly. mechanism of the legumes crops. Yes, and so how the, the, that, that's the basic uh, reason that uh, we want to actually enhance the production, uh, which will not only um, uh, increase or uh, add the literature uh, into the international uh, standards. standards. This is actually uh, the LED based uh, research is currently going on here and uh, Dr. Amna Khatun is uh, actually leading uh, this uh, part of the research and uh, uh, one of the major uh, uh, outcome of this research is that uh, how we can uh, get certain uh, advancement I mean, in terms of basic research that uh, how different types of lights are actually uh, affect the physiological and uh, other parameters, associated parameters of plants. So uh, we have some certain advanced research. Even there are certain more publications currently we have we are having um, uh, regarding the LED based research. So this is one of the another area. In, uh, due to which, I mean, uh, some of the students, they are really engaged. Here it is our plant proteomics labs, uh, University of Quad, Quad University of Science and Technology, that this lab is leading by Dr. Ghazala. So the main purpose is the study of the plant proteomics. These, these are some equipments. Mm -hmm.